Our guest across the table today is a woman who is well known for volunteering at charitable, charitable events throughout the city of Sioux Falls. Yet there's a lot more to Shelley Johnson, the director of community outreach at Lawrence and Schiller, than meets the eye. We're sitting down today to talk fur babies, favorite music, and guilty pleasures. All right, so what do you have in your cup today, Shelly? Today I have a two pump hazelnut latte with whole milk as a splurge and it is delicious. It sounds delicious. It's really good. <laughs> okay, so Shelly, you work at Lawrence and Schiller. Yes. And you are the director of community outreach. Mm -hmm. And one thing you're really big and passionate about is being volunteering and being yes. involved in the community. Yes. Why is that? Uh, early in my career, I watched a lot of the people I admired and still admire to this day who were getting out and about doing all different kinds of things with the Chamber of Commerce and the United Way and I just followed suit. Um, I just found it to be interesting and a great way to meet people and also kind of to expand your own set of skills and things that you're exposed to. And just giving back in general, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? Oh, it feels amazing. Uh, you know, every year I go to the, the um, thank you lunch for the United Way and it's easy to sit on a board or a committee um, it's harder to get hands-on and so I've tried to you know do a few things too that are more hands-on uh, with mentoring in the schools and things like that but there are some you know there are people here in this town that just do amazing things that do it without any recognition and they do it because they're passionate about it so I'm just doing a, a little bit in yeah. comparison and kind of going along those lines, too, of your life philosophy, you really had a life-changing event occur in yeah, your life. Can you just I tell did. us a little sure. bit about that? Sure. Um, almost, well, three years ago this month, I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. So that was a bit of a thump alongside the head. I'd never, you know, thought anything like that would ever happen to me. But um, on the back side of it now, um, you know, we're lucky to live in the town that we live in with access to two wonderful healthcare systems and treatment options and so much more advancements now with how that's treated. So yeah, I think life is different but better. It's kind of a strange blessing is what I tell people. I wouldn't want it again, obviously, or wish right. that on anybody, but it does change your outlook and your perspective yeah. by a lot. Yeah, it just really goes to yeah. show that life is short. It is, yeah, and you just, you can't get worked up about the small things. Right. I still do. You know, you kind of right. go back into bad habits, but it's, it's easier than to remind yourself when you start kind of thinking about you know things that bother you it's like wait a second just hold up you know chill out you're fine life is good right yeah well let's get to know you a little bit more on a personal okay. level so what does say you had no work to do that day mm. you had the day off what does the perfect day look like uh, for you it starts with no alarm clock I my alarm clock goes off not that I get up but my alarm goes off <laughs> your snooze so button I'm a snooze button like taking those two or three minute naps in the morning um, by six o'clock at least every morning so no alarm clock is wonderful um, my perfect day I'm kind of low-key uh, sunshiny day maybe shopping and perhaps a cocktail or two with friends and just taking it easy and going at my own pace and not having to be somewhere and you have a couple fur babies. I do. Tell us about them. Um, they are both uh, rescues. So I have um, a giant cat. Uh, his so name what do you mean by giant? He's large. He's just a big. I had okay, a 30-pound yeah. cat. Yeah, so. oh, he's not that big. He's, um, com by comparison to the one that we had for eight, almost 18 years, he's pretty big. His name is Henry after my dad, and I don't think that my dad would be really thrilled about <laughs> having a cat named after him, but we did. <laughs> And um, he's from the Humane Society, and then we also have a Cocker Spaniel. Her name is Shelby, also from the Sioux Falls Area Humane Society. So they're pretty cute together. Oh, it yeah. sounds like it. Yeah. So what are some of your hobbies that you like to do? Uh, boy, my hobbies, I really like live music. Um, and so I think, again, living where we live with the, the Premier Center and some of the other venues for live music. I just saw Dwight Yoakam a few weeks ago at the Pavilion, and I like to take those opportunities when I can to see live music. Um, it's fun, it makes me feel good. Um, otherwise, I'm 
probably a little bit boring when it comes to hobbies. No. Uh, that's just something that I really enjoy doing and look for opportunities to be able to, to go and have fun. Well, you know, relaxing can be a hobby. Yeah, think it is. About it. I make it a hobby, yes. Right, exactly. But speaking of music, so you said you really like live music and going to live music events, but what about just music in general? If you were just to put some tunes on, what type of music do you like to listen to? Well, I am a, a victim of my generation, so I like classic rock a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I've discovered um, a lot of different other genres. Um, I really like Imagine Dragons as, as something that's a little bit more, you know, up to date. Um, from what I usually listen to, so I try to keep expanding. Um, I really like all forms of music. I love the blues. Um, so there really isn't a lot I don't like to listen to. I don't like music that's generic or sounds like, if I can't tell a distinction about the artist and they sound the same, then I really don't like it. But even old school Johnny Cash and Patsy Cline, I love that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say is your uh, guilty pleasure? Junk food. Junk food. What kind? Oh, you name it. If it ends in an O, I like it. Uh, Doritos, Fritos, Oreos. All the stuff that you shouldn't eat. <laughs> if it ends eat. in an O, oh, that's yes. great. Um, I try not to eat it, but sometimes, you know, you yeah. gotta live a little, so. And then once you start, it's so hard to stop. Put it away, yeah. You know, you just kind of have to finish off the bag. Have a limit, right? right. I try to have a limit. <laughs> All right, what is one thing that people in Kelloland don't know about you? Oh, gosh. My friends probably are thinking they know just about everything. I'm pretty much an open book. Um, probably that I'm more of an introvert than people think I am. Um, I'm pretty extroverted, I think, during the day, but at night when I go home, I like to just to chill and probably a bit more of an introvert than people might imagine. All right, well, thank you so much, Shelly, for thank joining you. us today Thanks. and sharing more about you. Thank you. Do you know someone you think all of Kelloland should get to know? What questions do you think we should be asking? Go ahead and send us an email to kellolandliving at kelloland.com or message us through Facebook or Twitter. You can even give us a call with your suggestions at 605-336-1100. Be sure and tune in next Tuesday to see who we'll be sitting down with next.